and welcome back to the rules. So do you ever wake up in the morning and discover that you are completely exhausted and you haven't gotten a very good sleep and you wonder why? Do you ever lie in your bed at night thinking, damn you sheep, you're not helping? Do you find yourself falling asleep at your desk halfway through the day because you just did not get enough sleep? Then I have a solution for you! Today we're going to be talking about the rules for going to sleep. Rule number one, cut the caffeine. I know, it's terrible, and I know that coming from me it doesn't really make much sense. However, everybody is different, but for most human beings, cutting the caffeine five to six hours before you're gonna go to bed is probably the best idea because it won't keep you up that way. This is not a good idea. <laughs> in bed. That means no TV, no telephones, and no computers. Somebody out there has done a study that shows that light from the screen will keep you up later. And if you want to go to sleep, then that's not going to help. So put your damn phone away. Hard. I know you want to keep texting your friends. I know you want to keep playing the latest game on your phone, but just don't do it. Just don't do it because you need your sleep. Rule number three, have a routine. It's really hard to go to bed at 8.30 one day and one in the morning the next. Your system will just be confused. And why confuse your system when it doesn't need to be confused? You're confused enough in your everyday life. Trust me, I know. So set a time to go to bed and then do the same routine every night. Brush your teeth, wash your face, go to the bathroom, drink some water, get into bed, close your eyes, and sleep. Hopefully. And rule number four, try not to eat anything just before you go to bed because in my humble opinion, food before bed gives you strange dreams. And that is it for this week, everyone. If you have any other suggestions for how to get to sleep, please leave them in the comments down below. I love hearing from you. Feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, until next time, sleep well. While you apostrophe re is not the possessive form, she said to me, if it belongs to you, it's spelled Y-O-U-R. <laughs>